Welcome into the John Stoltrager Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with John Stoltrager, head coach of the men's and women's swimming programs. And coach, it's been a month off since your last competition. You got Messiah coming up. It's been a long time that you got to get in the pool and work with your swimmers and get them ready for these uh, meets coming up. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long month. Um, the kids have been in the water. We actually stayed the week after finals. Um, we started doubling then. Then they actually got a whole five days off. Um, and we're back here on the 28th and, and started doubling again. Um, and that's what we've been doing, swimming twice a day, almost every single day, lifting three times a week. Um, the kids are, are definitely itching to get back into the competition pool and see if this hard work has actually paid off. And you mentioned before we uh, started rolling that some times have been improving from their previous meets in this stretch of non-competition, the training, comp- training stretch that you've had going on. What has the improvement been like? Um, the kids have been really working hard, and it's it's always nice to see, like somebody do an in season best, which we actually had two kids do an in season best um, during one of our training sessions. And our, one of our big mantras, one of our big philosophies, is to learn how to swim fast when you're tired. And I know it sounds cliche, but it actually isn't. It's actually something you have to learn how to do. And I think through these last three weeks, like really working hard. Um, expecting the kids to swim fast. When I ask them to swim fast, they're, they're actually starting to figure that out. And, again, it is a process, and it's something that um, they have to learn. And, again, two kids doing in-season best in practice is just, I mean, that's, that's amazing. And it's, um, you know, it gives everyone a little more hope saying, okay, I think although we're really tired, we can swim really fast at the meet coming up. And let's talk about that meet coming up. You've talked about the improvement that you've had. What do you expect going into this meet? The swimmers are tired, like you mentioned, but what are you expecting as far as uh, improvements from their last meet, which was a month ago? Right. Um, You know, you never know from from individual to individual. Some kids respond really well to it. Um, Some kids, you know, might not swim as well. Uh, What we're looking to do is, I mean, we're swimming Messiah, who won the conference last year. Um, We're looking to challenge them in individual events. Um, We definitely don't have the firepower to, you know, win a dual meet against them, either guys or girls. But I want to challenge them, and I want them uh, to swim hard, um, not be afraid of, of, you know, going past what you think you can do, and, and really pressing some of the Messiah kids and giving them good races to let them know that we're here. And one thing that we do want to touch on is um, the MAC conference meet. You're inside of a month away from that now. What, what does this meet do in terms of preparing you for that meet? It just shows the kids where they're at. Um, it, it really helps them, since they haven't swum in a month, helps them you know, figure out what we need to do in the next couple of weeks before we do our, um, our taper, which you know, will start in, in about two weeks. So you know, the kids always count down the taper. Uh, it's, a, it's a great time for them. Um, we back off on our work and, and really start doing some small sprinting stuff and, and start to rest and relax, which, you know, they deserve after the, the month that they've been through. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck in this meet up at Messiah and safe travels up there. Thank you very much. He's John Stoltrager. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the John Stoltrager Show.